So we are here with 16 Bars. I'm Steph and I'm sitting here with Knight Lovell in Berlin. Now, it's a rainy day, but you left the house or the hotel. So obviously I wasn't gonna because I hate rainy days too. But then I was like, nah, we got you a little something, something and I can't miss out. Gotta share that shit with you. You ready? Whoa, mm -hmm. what is that? What? That's wild, bro. L Lavelle Meister. That's crazy. How did you do that? How did you guys do that? I have no idea. It's Jaeger. It's Jaeger, but this is your custom Jaeger because you don't fuck with the Mary Jane, even though that was your first track, but then you were like, you don't fuck with the Mary Jane. So, so how about um, we do one shot for Germany? Uh, I know you're a vodka dude, but like... I don't know if I could take a shot right now. Okay, you want me to take one for you? Yeah, you could take one for me. Okay. What kind of a shot is this? Come on, hook me up. You want a bigger one? Yeah. The hell? I'm German. Right, wait, there we go. Okay. There we go. Post is cheers. Post. But yeah, post. 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 Perfect, perfect. Um, <laughs> they're laughing over there. Um, but I'm a post for you without you. Okay? Okay. 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 Post. Okay. Oh, oh. Yes. Shout out to all the alcoholics in Germany. Um. <laughs> oh, but this is sick though. I fuck with this. This is crazy. I get to keep it, right? Obviously. Of course, we made it just for you. Perfect. Okay, but you took now. You taking a break, break um, from touring and getting too lit, I guess. Yeah. So when did you take the break, break? Uh, well, I don't know. The, my first show, I had some alcohol and it didn't work. Like two days ago, and that's when the break. <laughs> what do you mean it didn't work? <laughs> it, it, it didn't work. The next day, just my body was not having it. So break started like two days ago i was like fuck that maybe i'll start in a few weeks okay but is that is that also when you when you um tweeted uh been fuck uh, been puking my brains out all day um oh that was for my release party okay. that yeah that was one of the reasons that was one of the reasons why i took a break but i figured when i got to greece i might try it again and it did not work so yeah okay but it's cool you know what shout out to people that are straight edge yeah and just like randomly little bit of alcoholics like me um so okay so i've been checking out some of your interviews um the latest one i saw was i believe with hot new hip-hop um and there's just some questions i think we all need answered sure. okay um have you gotten to getting a scooby-doo tattoo no where'd you guys get that question did i ever hint at getting one? yeah because you said it was your favorite uh cartoon character uh, and you're like i might get that as a tattoo oh, so yeah, i just wanted right. to know but yeah, Scooby-Doo hands down. I need a tatted Scooby-Doo. That's what I need. You reminded me. I, I was looking for something to get tatted this tour, and that's probably when I'm going to get tatted. So I will get it soon. ASAP. Okay, but will you get Shaggy and the dog or, like, the logo? No, or? I just want the dog. I just want the dog. Yeah, that's the coolest part of the logo. Shout out to that dude. Also, shout out to the undercover stoners that are Shaggy and Scooby-Doo, man, because, you know, that's all they were doing, <laughs> eating and smoking up. Okay. Um, also, another question. This is a very awkward question, but I might as well. You said it in another interview. Have you finally gotten around to sucking toes? I don't have a fetish, but I've tweeted a lot of shit about, like, sucking toes and shit, and the fans kind of, like, hooked onto it. So I guess you could say sucking toes. I don't know. I get weird with that shit, you know? I've never done it before, though. I'm waiting for the right time. But sucking toes is on my, like, bucket list, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> Behind closed doors. Okay. No Did one can know that. No one can know that. It's a mystery to this day. <laughs> it's so funny how your fans be thinking that that's, like, a big-ass thing. But I feel like it's a big thing in hip-hop, like, feet generally. People getting into feet. Like, yeah, I don't I mean, know. Everyone has their... Fetish. Yeah, yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I made it hella awkward for all of us. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Okay. Um, so now... <clears throat> for me, um, I've never been to Canada. I don't know much about, uh, don't hate me if I say it the wrong way. I'm going to say it the German way. Ottawa? Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah. Okay. So what's it like in Ottawa, like growing up? Like what's the city like? Because every city has like a certain vibe. Is it like a very artsy city? What, what's it like? Because I don't know anybody else from there that uh, but you. It's a very government city, isolated. Because uh, it's the capital, right? Yeah, it's the capital, and I don't know, not, nothing really happens there. It's just like trees, and like there's downtown. Other than that, it's like nothing. So I don't know what kind of city you can compare to in Germany. Maybe like one of the smaller ones, like mm -hmm. Munich, maybe? I don't, I don't know. But it's a really small city. Population's like barely a million, and nothing happens there. Yeah. But, but you, you pretty much putting it on for the city, and I need to know, like, who are some up-and-coming people we need to keep an eye on from there as well? Because uh, I'm sure you motivated a lot of young people too. Uh, there's there's artists doing their thing. Um, 
I don't really know too many, but there's my brother Dodo. That's like blood. My do brother Dodo Banks, he's making music. There's a bunch of other people too making music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but it's okay. So Dodo is somebody we should yeah. keep an eye out yeah, from. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. okay. All right. So <clears throat> now, you growing up in o Ottawa. Can say it again? Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah. I'm really having o a problem. Ottawa is the native pronunciation, I think, though. Like the origin, oh, Odawa. Odawa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when like it first, I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. Yeah. Okay, so in Odawa, mm -hmm. shout out to me for being all cultural and shit. Um, you know, growing up there, who's the first person that ever told you that the shit you make is lit? Like, who's the per first person that told you, yo, you, you're gonna be, a su you're gonna be oh, something? My dad. My dad, yeah. He doesn't live in Ottawa, though. He lives in Toronto. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. But he told me on the phone, he's like, your shit's fucking crazy. Continue. And I was like, okay, bet. So this was when you were still a producer, I believe. Um, it's KLVN. KLNV. KLNV, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, just like I was a producer. He's like, continue. Uh, I started rapping. He's like, your shit's sick. He was just a motivator like throughout my whole like career, early career. Does he have anything to do with music or is it just, what, what is he? He used to make music. His name was MC Renegade. So oh. yeah. He used to do like little like shows in Ottawa and stuff, like on Rideau downtown and stuff. He used to sell out some shows and stuff. So yeah, he has a lot of uh, his background is music. Shout out to MC Renegade. Um, what, but was he a rapper? Yeah, a, a rapper. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. So so when's gonna when's you know when's there gonna be a feature? A, a, a you know feature. yeah, Maybe Night Lovell featuring MC Renegade. Like soon, that would be lit. Soon for sure, but he's dropping a uh, he's dropping a project soon. I could tell you that. Yeah, he's dropping a project soon. How old is your dad? Oh, come on. Uh, okay, I don't four, uh, what? 25. What? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, all, he's young at heart. Okay, we'll just leave it at yeah. that. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we might just cut that scene because we don't want to hurt MC Renegade's feelings yeah, up in uh, here, man. You uh, should be knowing that, though. Okay. Uh, it's all, it's all jokes. <laughs> okay, but so that means he was very supportive of like your career choice. Mm -hmm. What about your mama? What did she think? Like it's always weird, I think, when people say I'm gonna be a producer or I'm gonna be in the music industry. It just seems so random to parents. Mm -hmm. But like he seemed to be supportive from the beginning. What's your mama say? Uh, my mom, okay, she was always supportive, but she just didn't really understand how it would work until I kind of started making money. Then she's like, oh, okay. So yeah, she kind of just needed proof. You know what I mean? So like, okay, you're not like messing up life. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. But did you then finish high school or? I finished high school, but I told her I didn't want to go to college. And she was like, what? Like, yeah, that's confused. Like the worst shit yeah. That parents can hear. Yeah. Now, with this project, I read that, um, or also in the interview, you said that you were having some problems um, with your artistic drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is that like, writer's block, or how can I imagine that to be the issue? Yeah. Writer's block, usually, like for the first like year. Uh, that I took like off or whatever I couldn't really like think of anything to write about I don't know if it's because I was kind of like not doing anything but um, like a year after that or like the second year after that I kind of hit this like wave and it was just like song 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 like every day but what triggered the wave was it like know. a certain thing or it just came out of nowhere it just came out of nowhere that's why I always say like you have to trust the process like shit's not always like sunny on one day but it'll come I guess mm-hmm yeah, but oh, you had tweeted, um, uh, by now, uh, you niggas know I fucking hate the industry and oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I hate it. I hate almost everything about it. I just wish I could go back to like 2014 when I was just making music and just like posting it. Like it was just, it's still fun, but there was nothing else to it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't know, whatever. So shit. like the simplicity of yeah, not yeah. having the pressure yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, I can see that. I can see that. Now you started very young. I mean, what, you're 21, right? Yes. So, concept vague, you must have been like, what, 16? Yeah, I guess so, yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Red Teenage Melody, 18, around ni 18, 19. And now, um, with 21, it's Goodnight Lavelle. And I just want to know, like, what, other than the fact that you are producing less, like, what changed for you in, like, working on a project? Mm. And what does a session look like with you? Really boring. <laughs> like, no one, it's literally just me. Like, it's just me in a room. I have my mic set up, I have my laptop my audio interface and I'm just, it's just me. Like there's nothing interesting about uh, studio sessions with me. There's not like 80 people in the room watching, that's for sure. So you don't need the turn up and... No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, nah. nah, I leave that for the shows, yeah. 
So, okay, but on this project, you didn't have many features, um, which I liked. Mm -hmm. I liked that a lot because I feel like it concentrates on the artist mm -hmm. as, as a person. Like, I'm not one of the people that is like, oh, let have, you know, I have 20 songs, 20 features. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that shit. That yeah. takes away from... Especially after, like, I haven't dropped an album in, like, two years, so I'm about to drop an album with, like, all features. Like, it just doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? They want to hear me, first and foremost, after this, like, long-ass time. So are you happy with um, how it's being received? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. They fuck with it. They fuck with it. There's, there's certain like you know those like, those like really like concept vague, kill and V, blah blah like those types of fans that will always be like, bro, we want you to go back to. It. But it's like whatever. Growth is growth. You know what I mean? So. What would you say is the biggest misconception people have about you currently? Uh. I, everyone just thinks I do a lot of drugs. <laughs> what? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess it's like, I don't know. Maybe the music I make, but like, I don't know. But how does that show itself? Like people at shows be like, yo, here's some, I don't know, yeah, Molly you know, and you shit. You want to try this? You want to try? I, I feel like it's because like the music I create, obviously, but like the music I create is just like from my head. So I guess like my mind is the drug then. You know what I mean? Mm. If that makes sense. Because I make music that sounds like I'm on drugs, but I'm not. Yeah, Which you might want to, you know, see a therapist. Yeah. Nah, I'm playing. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm just playing. No, but I get, I get what you mean. Yeah. Because it's definitely like, if that's the impression you give people. <laughs> but it's okay. People fuck with your shit and it, it doesn't matter. And, and you said it's like, it's like your dreams, mm -hmm. your sleep mm -hmm. world. Hand hand. Now, talking about sleep, dreams, etc. I would like... Um, you know, for us to talk about <clears throat> some recurring things in your dreams, like three topics that you've dreamt about. Because I got myself an app, mm -hmm. and it's going to tell me, I don't know, if, well, it's going to tell me pretty much like what it means. Okay. okay. Super creepy, okay. y'all. Um, so just topics? Or? Just topics. Mm -hmm. Just topics. Just topics. It can be whatever. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. First one. Like, a lot of them are bad, though. Like, I have a lot of nightmares and stuff. Is that bad? Like, or is that? I don't know, man. What's going on with you? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no. It's like, I don't know. Like, for instance, um, I used to have a phase where I would always dream of, like, a wolf. I don't know why. There was always a wolf. Oh, and that has, like, so, about, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And I'm a fine, like, I got this nice ass app, okay. and it's going to tell me what that shit means. Okay. Let's, let's dive into your mind a little. Okay, okay. One of the dreams I have, which is one of the bad dreams, is centipedes. Ew. It's my worst fear, too, by the way. You ready? <coughs> oh, no. No, I'm kidding. Um, to see a centipede in your dreams suggests that you are letting your fears and doubts hinder you from making progress and achieving your goals. You need to stop thinking negative thoughts. Mm. Does that make sense in any way with your life? I think so sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, shout out to this app. Yeah. Okay, you got another it's one? It's funny that you, because centipedes are my worst fear, so, yeah, I don't know. That's, qu that's good to know. Plus, they're really disgusting. Yeah, they're they're bugs, yeah. so ew. Um, okay, you got another one? Uh, yes, I always dream that I'm on, I don't know how you can put this into a word, but I'm on like an island, and I never know what the island is. But it's like a tropical island. Okay, but a tropical island actually sounds like a nice place, right? Yeah. Unless it's like, yeah. you know, things that eat you and kill you and shit. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. To dream that you are on an island in a clear stream... I don't know if it's a clear stream, but fuck it. Signifies pleasant journeys and fortunate enterprises. Um, a barren island indicates a forfeiture of happiness and money through intemperance. Anybody know what that means? It's definitely the first one. That it's not barren. There's like stuff on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like pleasant journeys and fortunate. Yeah, yeah. That, okay. that sounds nice. That's nice. Yeah. Tropical that. island. That's a good one after the Nassia centipede. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one. You ready? Uh, I... I just have dreams of like really big future shows, like concerts and stuff. Oh. Yeah, just like concerts, I guess. But talking about concerts, you used to be a really shy kid, right? I still am. Okay, but like, what do you get stage fright before you go? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what do you do against it? Like, well, what does it feel like? This was usually my uh, no. my combat, you know, but Damn. now. Uh, it's it's I just it's not like stage fright where it's like oh I don't want to perform it's more just like all these people are here for me so I can't mess up 
type thing. But it kind it's it's like it's like adrenaline at the same time because they're like it hypes you up because they all want to see you. And when does it fall off? As, like as soon as I say the first word on stage, then it's like, okay, hey, whatever, this is easy. Fast fire yeah. from having problems with presentations in school yeah. to rocking shows. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. To dream of concert of a high musical order denotes delightful seasons of pleasure and literally work to the author. To the businessman, it portends successful trade. And to young, it signifies unalloyed bliss and faithful loves. See, that's not that bad. Not bad. You thought it was all nightmares, but yeah. it was just a centipede's fucking shit up. Yeah, facts, 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 big facts. I, f I fucking hate centipedes. <laughs> Me too. I hate centipedes. <laughs> I take a shot for you again, and then uh, call, it a call it a day. But do you like this? This is interesting, yeah. isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah you should have a dream journal. What, what? Um, I don't want to do advertisement for y'all motherfuckers because I paid for this shit. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's called I Dream. I dream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, it says a lot about you without you knowing. All right, here we go. So pour up from the Night Lavelle juices here. So we were here with Night Lavelle. I'm Steph. We're here with 16 Bars in Berlin. And this is a shot to you. There we go. Damn, I didn't say prose. Fuck. <laughs> 